Yo, what's up? How y'all doing? This is T. Lamar. Y'all probably already know that if y'all clicked on the video. Um, hope y'all had a good Christmas as I am recording this the day after. Um, yeah, so today is going to be a recent pickup video. Show you guys uh, what I cop mostly um, over the past couple months. Although a lot of these, a lot of these um, pickups that I show in this video aren't mine. Uh, some of them are my little brothers, but I will show them all because I think they're dope. And uh, just so you guys know how they run and fit and everything like that, some uh, important details about the uh, specific pieces so you guys you know, have the information on hand just in case if you want to buy these uh, pieces later on. Um, first off, I'm going to show these jeans. Matter of fact, there's two pairs of jeans that my brother had got. Uh, from Paxson. Um, this is the uh, Mystic Complete knockoffs, I like to call them, um, because they look just like them. They're uh, washed black uh, with a raw hem at the bottom. You know, just like the Mystic Complete are also. It has the zip, long zip on the side of the thigh right here. Um, some paneling details right above the knee, like that ends right at the zip. Also, the zipper has this. Uh, this suede tassel on it, um, felt tassel, actually. Uh, I believe the Mr. Completes have like a suede tassel. If you haven't heard of Mr. Complete pants, uh, go search them up. Like, they're like what the brand is known for. He got them in a size 30, 32. They fit pretty well. Um, I'm gonna run a clip while uh, I'm talking about these items, by the way. Uh, so you guys know uh, how they run, how they fit. Uh, next item up will be from my brother's pickup. Uh, these jeans also from Paxson. Um, they are kind of like a light denim with like a slight fade on the leg. The size on these are a 30-32 as well. As you can tell, um, there should be a clip rolling as I'm speaking about these so you can see how they fit on body. He normally wears a 29, I think. So, yeah. But these fit pretty good. Um, these are the skinny fit. And uh, yeah, you can wear these cuffed, uh, stack them on, or uncuffed, you can stack them on top of your shoe, however you like to wear them. Uh, they stack pretty nice. I think the black ones stack a little better. I don't know if that's because it's got a slight more taper to the. All right, next up, I have a coat. Uh, this coat is actually, we actually bought this on, uh, my brother actually bought this on Black Friday uh, off the Novo, Novo uh, LA website, Nola, Nova Nola, something like that. Um, yeah, it's a 10 deep uh, parka, very heavy weight. It's got fur on the hood. Um, I think it retailed for like 240 or something like that. Um, but he got it for like 140, 120, something like that, around there. I'm not sure, but um, as you can tell in the clip, uh, got a zipper on the side sleeve right here. Um, it's got some pockets up top. Uh, for hand warmers, um, you can just slide your hands up there when it gets cold. Uh, it's lined with black Sherpa. And yeah, it's got a fish tail in the back, like most Parkers have. It's a nice uh, attention to detail that they did. Um, it has a print on the back that says, uh, 10th Division uh, Grant Supply, I think some uh, X's in New York. So yeah, all around very high quality parka. Nice and heavy weight. You know, those cold winters. Yeah, but yeah, those are just good to throw on. Uh, next up, we have Chuck 2 Converse's that I caught for my brother for Christmas. Um, I just wanted to add, throw these in the video because I think they're nice. Uh, dope kick around, shoot a rock. 
Um, they're black and white, you know, very standardized Chuck colors. Uh, just some quick info on the Chuck tools. Uh, there is not, there, this is Nike's version of the original Chuck. They made some uh, some pretty significant upgrades to it, like adding in a lunar line cushioning uh, insole, which they used to use in their runners, which is pretty decent for you know a casual shoe. Um, because before, if you have the OG pairs, it's like walking on concrete when you uh, when you slide these mugs on. These aren't like that. These are more uh, more suited for the human foot. You know what I'm saying? Um, the inside is lined with a uh, like suede texture. Um, the shoe has more structure to it. It's not just a piece of cloth, you know, sewed onto a slab of rubber. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty, pretty decent shoe. Comfortable. Um, you know, just a great all-around kick-around shoe. Next pickup we have are the Nike Air Force. Uh, what are what are they called? S boots. There's some type of boot. First off, um, uh, these are Nike S Forces. Uh, they're supposed to be some type of boots. Um, I'm gonna put the actual name of these uh, in the video somewhere. You'll see it somewhere. Um, I, it, it escapes me right now. But they have a texturized toe box right here on the front of the shoe. Um, these are supposed to be like a winter version of the shoe, so they're made for the weather. They have a lunar line midsole cushioning system. Uh, uh, very uh, nice black and uh, peanut butter like color uh, laces. The whole shoe is a nice peanut butter color. I really like this shoe, by the way. Kind of wish they were mine, but they're not. Uh, the Nike swoosh uh, has uh, is actually 3M. I'm gonna see if I can get a couple photos. Uh, of the 3M into the video um, because it looks sick. Um, it has, you know, these boot uh, eyelets, like hook things for the laces. It make a cool sound when you walk and stuff, so it's cool, like, you know, like a boot normally does. Next up, we're gonna move on to my pieces that I personally cop. Uh, first up are these Champion hoodies. This first one is yellow. Uh, very nice. Um, you probably seen this in my. I had these uh, this showcase in my last video. I just want to you know do a little bit more in depth uh, detail. This is a power weave material, actually. Um, Champion is starting to become a little trendy now. Back again. So I copped two of these on Amazon, basically for uh, thirty-seven a p thirty-seven for both of these. I think one of these was 18, the other one was like 13 something. Something like that. No. Yeah, something like that. 15 something. Uh, this is the gold, yellow gold colorway. Um, very warm. Uh, quality is very high. You know, this is a very dope hoodie. This is the orange one. Very nice, you know, uh, winter fall colors, you know what I'm saying? Um, high quality. These are very good when it comes to washing. They don't shrink like, you know, most things. Um, Aglets have a metal piece on the tip. You know, just, you know, nice uh, casual kick out hoodie. Throw on. You want to do work or shovel the snow or something like that, you know, whatever you do. Uh, Tyler's in the background of this video. It's his fault. So next up, I have uh, nudie jeans. Um, I want to go in more in detail about these jeans because I think they're very dope. Uh, first off, uh, if you have, if you don't know about the uh, brand Nudie uh, jeans, they're based in Guthenburg, Sweden, I believe. Uh, all of their jeans, first off, they're a high-end jean brand, so all of these jeans are made out of organic cotton. Um, the pair I'm showcasing now are the raw denims, and. Uh, if you don't know what raw denim is, basically it is the straight up uh, jean in raw form. So any pair of jean you have on started off in this dark indigo color. Uh, and they either bleach them or distress them uh, either by hand or through a manufacturer or a factory like distressing. But um, yeah, they all start off 
in this deep like indigo color. You, the more you wear the jean, the more it shows characteristics in it, like whiskering and you know, um, what they call it, honeycombing in the back of the knee and fading all through just wear and not, you know, like uh, bought like that already. You have, to, you have to wear these jeans a, a period of amount of time to, in order to show that specific characteristic in the fabric. So yeah, that, I just thought that was pretty cool. I got these off the same website that uh, my brother got this coat off of, which is the Novo yeah, Nola yeah. website. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to that website so you guys can go check out more of their items. Yeah, these good. These look good cuffed or just uh, stacked up on top of the collar of the shoe. Um, they have nice contrasting orange stitching. And uh, yeah, man, all together very nice jean. They retail for 165, but I got them for 99. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much a steal. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all for my recent pickups. Um, I have another video coming after this one, which is this coat that I bought, um, or that I got for Christmas actually, but it, I'm getting the tailor right now and I want to shut it off in this own separate video that I will be uploading after this one, so look forward towards that. Also, I have another video coming in about a week or two of some boots that I purchased. And that's another video I want to do by itself, so that's why those aren't included in this video. Um, but yeah, man, you just uh, witnessed another T. Lamar video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, any further questions on any of the pieces shown in this video, uh, leave a, a comment in the comment section. Um, bless you. Uh, leave a like, leave a like uh, and thumbs up on this video if you like the video. Um, but yeah, man, uh, y'all have a good holidays. Uh, good holiday. Um, this is T. Lamar, and, uh, signing off.